Let's look at the famous arithmetic triangle, often called Pascal's triangle, but was first written in this form by Hayley Each entry is obtained by adding the two entries that are above and above to the left of the desired entry, with the value 0 if not pictured. If the columns are indexed starting at the number 0, then the second column gives the sequence of triangular numbers pictured here. Here's an interesting question. What happens if we consider the reciprocals of the triangular numbers and then add them all up? Will this infinite series converge? And if so, what value will the series converge to? To answer this question, we graph the function y equals 2 over x. Then we construct the rectangle with opposite vertices at the points 1, 2 over 1 and 2, 1, which has area 1. Next, we construct a rectangle with the corners on the graph at inputs 2 and 3, which has area 1 third. We continue finding the areas of rectangles with opposite corners lying on the graph with consecutive integer inputs. For the first eight rectangles, the areas are reciprocals of the triangular numbers. If we continue this process infinitely, we can verify that the rectangle that lies above the inputs n and n plus 1 by zooming in has width n plus 1 minus n and length 2 over n minus 2 over n plus 1. Thus the width is 1 and the length is 2 divided by n times n plus 1 which is just 1 over the binomial coefficient n plus 1 choose 2, or the n plus first triangular number. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is 1 over n plus 1 choose 2. Now, we can stack all these rectangles on top of one another and fit into a larger rectangle. If we continue our sum infinitely, we will fill this rectangle complete. The resulting rectangle has width 1 and length 2, so the series of reciprocals of triangular numbers converges to 2.